Stephen John, as you can see, the scene is quite active. We just spoke to the student who says he was on that bus and his parents, and they say, take a look at the ground. You can actually see the tracks where that bus traveled. You can see it right now. It brought some power lines down with it. Unitil does say 14 customers right now are without power, and that student said it took 45 minutes to an hour before they could get off of the school bus, those power lines just making it really difficult for them to get out. Thankfully, he was walking around. He did say he felt okay. He did say he was the only student on that bus. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. For now, live in Concord, Grace Feinerman, WMUR News 9.